61A lecture number 34. Announcements. Project 4 is due Friday. Please submit Project 4 in two different ways. By running Python 3 OK with the dash dash submit flag, that lets us know this is the version you want to be graded. You should also make sure you set up your group on ok.cs61a.org. A instructional video on how to do that was already linked from the project and included in a previous lecture. In addition to that, please copy your files over to your class account and run Submit Proj4. All this does is submit your project a second way into our old system, the one that we use for homeworks and labs. That way, if anything goes screwy with um, OK during our grading process, we have something to check against to make sure that we're giving you the correct grades. Not that we think anything is going wrong, but we did discover some issues while grading Project 3, and so we want to make absolutely sure that we have all the data we need in order to give you the right scores. So thanks for your patience on that, and I appreciate your help as we roll out this new system. There was a correction to the question 20 tests, which was emailed to the class. Hopefully you saw it. The OK tests for that problem weren't working correctly, and we've added a new test as well. You can fix this problem by just going and getting the test slash q20.py file from the web and placing it in your tests directory. Homework 9 is due on Wednesday. It's worth six points because it's a double homework. There will be a homework party on Monday evening. We'll email out the details. The schedule for next week will be a little bit different than usual because of the holiday. Sumya Basu will be giving a guest live lecture on Monday. I'll still make the videos. There will be no lecture at all on Wednesday, and there will be no lab next Tuesday and Wednesday. However, we will hold the office hours, and so you can get help with the homework that you're working on if you'd like that. The last thing I'll say today is that finishing Project 4 is a massive achievement. You're solving problems like the Analyze problem, which involves complicated tree recursion, writing a program that can run on itself, and you're then interpreting that program on a scheme interpreter that you built. It's a pretty amazing feat. So congratulations on finishing that. This is a major step forward on the path to becoming a computer scientist. And in honor of all of the recursion that you had to do for Project 4, today we'll look at recursive queries in SQL.